the 2K Sports Network welcomes you to the National Hockey League. We're in downtown Tampa, inside the St. Pete's Times Forum. Hello, everyone. I'm Bob Cole, and along with my partner, Harry Neal, we're excited to bring you fast-paced action on the Frozen Pond. There aren't many buildings in the NHL that have any more noisy fans than they did in Tampa on their way to the Stanley Cup in 2004. The Canucks are a team that relies on its goaltending to get it done first. They'll play that low-scoring 1-0, 2-1 game for the goaltending they've got. Coley with good goaltending. What a combination this is when you factor in their speed. Good goaltending and great speed. That is a winning combination. There's no doubt about that. A good goalie loves to play behind a team that wins all the races for the puck. It makes his job easier, and we know speed wins in the NHL. The intangibles are so important in the game of hockey, and every coach knows that to have a complete team, you've got to have chemistry. You can't win in the NHL with one good line. Here's a look at a couple notable players that sometimes don't get the recognition they deserve. When you are playing against this guy, you had better bring your A game, because he's going to bring his. And you know what his A game stands for? Aggressive. When you are playing against this guy, you had better bring your A game because he's going to bring his. And you know what his A game stands for? Aggressive. Getting ready at center ice for the faceoff. We are getting ready to start this one. The Canucks win the opening faceoff. Taken across the blue line by the Canucks. Bertuzzi over to Sopel. And it's stopped by Heavy Moon. The Lightning hit it out of their zone to clear it. Over to the left wing. Oh, and there they go. The Canucks on the move. To the middle. Nasland controlling the puck in the corner. Back to the point. Oh, and there they go, the Lightning on the move. St. Louis is against the boards. Here they come, three on two, and he brings it past the blue line. It's a goal! Way out of the gates, and the visiting team up on top, one nothing. What a way to start this game. Check out this replay, folks. You do not have to have a great wrist shot when you're this close, because it's not about how hard it is, it's where it is. We talk about finding time and space on the ice, Harry. Well, right there, there was just enough time, and unfortunately, from a defensive point of view, there was plenty of space. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. The Canucks have the one goal lead now. Vancouver First goal. period of hockey. And Lots of time, time to decide this one. Shoots. And the delayed penalty is called. And that's a spearing penalty called on that player. Boy, I'll tell you what, folks. You're going to see on this replay why very often we say the stick can be used as a weapon. This is a spearing penalty, and it can cause serious injury. And if the referee sees it, he has to call it quickly. Spearing oftentimes is the result of some retaliatory effort. And I mean a serious retaliatory effort. But what that means is you've lost control of yourself on the ice, and you pay big time. And not only a penalty, you ought to be suspended. With just one more needed to get this game tied up, this home crowd is on the verge of bringing it home. And Bob, are they trying hard to get their boys over the hump or what? And the Lightning regain possession. Has it at center ice. Gets it over to the left wing. Along the boards with the puck. Harry, these fans know how to get into it. No lack of support here tonight. Bob, they want to win this game. Dan Kluche has some of the quickest hands in the league. He can make a tough save, and with his agility, he's often ready for the rebound. Kluche in net, ready for the faceoff to his left. get it out of their zone on the PK. The puck is directed out center. 
Here come the Lightning across the blue line. To the middle. Nice save, Bob. This guy has been coming up with some huge saves tonight. They're down by a man. They're leading by a goal. That was a timely stop. Malik gets the chance to hit it out of there, and it's cleared. They're still shorthanded. Oh, and here come the Lightning. Luce makes that beautiful save to preserve this one goal lead. And now Vancouver with it across the line. Over to Linden from Chubarov. Kavina plays it up to the center. Modine, center ice. To Chubarov. Morrison takes a bit of a hook on the play. From Boyle, Le Cavalier in the neutral zone. It's sent to the right wing. Allen drops to his knees to block the shot. Over to Bertuzzi. The Lightning trail by one here in the first period of play tonight. Harry, what's going on out there on the ice right now for this team? Being down by one, the first reason that comes to mind is that they have not been physical enough out there, Bob. They need to be more aggressive in front of the net if they want to stay in this game. Attention fans. And as always, you are listening to tonight's NHL game, presented in 2K Sports Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. And it'll be icing as the Lightning touch up. Up the left side, Taylor down low. And now the Canucks with it in their own zone. And he's got it in the neutral zone. Oh, and here come the Canucks. The shot. The puck sent to the defenseman. Taylor has the puck at center ice. Cluche makes the pass to the defenseman. Oh, and here they come. Odd man rush, three on two. And now Vancouver with it across the line. Abby Bullen makes the stop, keeping the deficit at just one. It's sent up the left side. He brings the puck through the zone. The puck is in the far corner. Nasland knocks the puck to the center. It goes over to the right wing. There it is, Vancouver on the rush. He scores! That gives them the two-goal lead here in the first period. Terrific use of the flip pass there, Bob. That's a great way to get the puck over the defender's stick to your score. And that's precisely what occurred here, Harry. The flip pass ended up being the first assist. And that's the definition of the first assist. The guy that creates the opportunity for his teammate to score. Beautifully executed. He definitely earned that assist. Creative use there to get the puck up in the air. for the faceoff. The Canucks are already putting some distance between themselves and their opponents here tonight. They just expanded their lead with that last goal and have themselves a two-goal advantage here in the first. And number 19. Oh, and a chance for Vancouver now. Boyle controls the puck on defense. And now Tampa Bay with it, across the blue line. Jovanovski from Malik. Sedin through the zone with the puck. Here they come, odd man rush, three on two. He centers the puck. Over the blue line. It's a goal! He puts it in the net. What a great push to end the first period. They now trail by just one goal. Much better position now going into the dressing rooms. Bob, hockey is definitely not a one-man show by any means. But this guy shows he's not afraid to work alone sometimes. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that if you can score like he just did. He just pulled up in the slot and delivered the puck to the nice section of the net behind the goalie. Yep, that's the perfect home for the puck. If you're the guy shooting, nice play. We'll get back to the action now as the official gets set to drop the puck. The 
Lightning had the two-goal deficit early. Now it's down to one. That was a big goal. That's one of those where the next goal really matters. They got it, and they're back into it. He passes to the right side. Oh, and Kluche with a stick save. That was a great stop. And it stopped. He got it with a shoulder. From Chubarov over to Rutu. Taken into the zone by Vancouver. The buzzer sounds, and that's the end of the period. And the score is 2-1. The Lightning continue to trail in this game here, Harry, and they're behind a goal to start the second period. What's been the difference tonight, do you think? They're down by one goal despite doing the better job at keeping out of the penalty box. Maybe the lack of aggressiveness is hurting them out there, Bob. The Canucks coming out now to start the second period with a one-goal lead. This is where they want it to be, and I think we're going to see them really attacking here in the second period to try to expand the lead. They look ready to start the second period now. The face-off won by the Canucks with the puck at center ice. Morrison over to Bertuzzi. From Bertuzzi to Jovanovski. Big saves at big time. They are already down by one goal, and we're in the second period. This game starts to slip away if he doesn't make that stop. Bob, no shortage of thanks and praise from these fans. They're loving their goaltending tonight. Goaltenders know what the other sound is. They really appreciate it after they've had a night like this. And in the neutral zone. And here's a three-on-two opportunity. What a nice save. He made the save after it was tipped in front. Puck over to the right wing. Here come the Canucks with a chance. It's shot. And Heavy Bullen makes the save. His team down a goal right now. They can't give up another one. Now Tampa Bay into the zone. Bluche makes the save. His team's in a one-goal lead right now. Knocks that shot away with a goal stick. Sokol in the neutral zone. The Lightning chain shifts for their defenseman. Passes it to the right wing. He brings it past the blue line. It's sent up the left side. Oh, and here come the Lightning. He makes a centering pass. The puck goes to the defenseman. Nasland holds the puck at center ice. Boyle passes the puck to the center. The Cavalier has got a chance here. Blocker save by Cluche. He's got that puck at the point. From Jovanovsky. Sedin, center ice. It goes to the point. Fires. Happy Bully makes the save, going left side. Nothing doing that time. He's got it through the zone. Over to Prosper. Linden with the pass up the center. Oh, and there they go, the Canucks on the move. To the right wing. And it'll be icing as the Canucks touch up. San Luis last year finished off the season with seven game-winning goals. Pace off will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. are back a goal now still trailing after going into the break and coming back for the second period half the game is over Harry what do you see going on they're down by one goal despite doing the better job at keeping out of the penalty box maybe the lack of aggressiveness is hurting them out there Bob Sopel dishes the puck center ice and now Vancouver with it across the line Rutu is against the boards Shubara controlling the puck. Happy Bowling makes the pass to the defenseman. 
San Luis through the zone with the puck. Sent to the left wing. Here come the Canucks with a chance. He's got it over the blue line. He rips it. The hard shot hits off the plexiglass. Shot. The puck bounces off the blocker and deflects away. Modine will come on with the offensive shift change. Over to the point. San Luis to Le Cavalier. Sopel with the pass up the center. Bertizzi leading the rush. The defensemen need to get back there fast. He passes to the defenseman. Morrison controlling the puck in the corner. The Morrison, he's got the puck in the neutral zone. Here come the right back. He scores. That ties it up in the second. shot that was Bob. He takes it from the point and he found the target. He found exactly what he wanted. No assist on the play either. He could have held on, tried to work it around, but he saw what he wanted and went for it. Good thing he did. Great goal. They're in position to start up the action. have got themselves back to an even Stephen hockey game here in the second with that last goal. Bob, I'll tell you this from experience. If your butt is dragging on the bench, this is music to your ear. Listen to that chant from the home team in a game that's tied up. And a lot of times, fans are just tentative at this point, but not tonight. Happy Bowling over to Sador to the left wing. There it is, Tampa Bay on the attack. Jovanovski controlled at center ice. Two minutes left in the period. In the corner. Over to Sedin. From Sedin, the puck goes into the corner. What a save. He made that stop. And almost tipped in front. Over to the right wing. He scores! Time winding down. Second, that puts him up on top by one goal, going into the second intermission. Off the glove and in. He reached out to make the catch, but it just didn't happen, and the puck sneaks in. Bob, he thought he had that one. You can see it in his eyes just before they became huge with the realization he didn't actually make the catch. And the result, a goal. The official is going to get the action started again. Here's the face-off. There are 33 seconds left. Puck back to the point. Allen got the rock's attention. And will be hit with the penalty here. Allen is nailed for making that cross check. Let's take a look at that cross check, Bob. That's a mean check. Not a lot of gray area for the refs on that one. No gray area on that one. It was an easy one. Bob, we both know as this game progresses, penalty killing becomes even more important. Well, these guys are terrific penalty killers. And they're going to have to be here because the game's almost half over and they are already down by a goal. Eight seconds left on the clock. The Canucks will try to bring it up now. And we've finished the second period of play here tonight. And the score is 3-2. to two. The Canucks starting the third period trailing one goal. They went the opposite direction they wanted to from early on in period two when they were ahead. Anything going on you can see out there? You can sum up for the viewers at home? They're down by a goal, but you can't say they haven't been working hard out there. It's been a battle to clear out the front of the net, but hard-nosed play is what's kept them in the game. The Lightning coming back out after the second intermission, and they are in great shape with a one-goal lead as we get set for the third period. The players meet at center ice to begin the third period. Well, the effort by the guys on the ice has resulted in a one-goal lead here tonight. The effort by the fans hoping it will be up to two. Yeah, and the fans don't want to let themselves start tasting this win yet. They're chanting for another goal. And it's cleared out 
by Vancouver trying to kill this off. The puck gets set up the right side. San Luis has it at center ice. It's passed to the point, and he shoots. They clear the puck, killing this penalty. Richards has the puck at center ice. For Cavalier. Oh, and here come the Lightning. You need great shorthanded goaltenders in this league. This stop keeps them in the game as they only trail by a goal. And now the Canucks clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. Through the zone with the puck. To Saint Louis from Richards. The penalty has now expired. Teams at even strength. Salo sends it up to the center. And here come the Canucks. Maybe he was pressing a little bit, but that is still a good save. The shooter knew that if he could get it by him, it would be a tie game in the third period. And that's right what they'd like. He carries it over the blue line. Oh, and there they go. The Canucks on the move. It's fed back to the point. Hey! To the right wing. San Luis skating with it at center. The Lightning give their forwards a rest with a shift change. He feeds it up the left side. And they've got a three on two chance here. And all the puck is off the post. Boyle passes to the defenseman. Taylor brings the puck up. It's passed to the point. It's shot. Some rough play. The stick came up on him. Jovanovski with the pass up the center. The Canucks give their defenseman a breather. New shift coming on. The puck to the left wing. Puck over to the right wing. And he's skating with the puck in the neutral zone. The Canucks are back a goal right now, still trailing after going into the break and coming back for this third period. Most of the game is over. Harry, what do you see going on? They're down by a goal, but you can't say they haven't been working hard out there. It's been a battle to clear out the front of the net, but hard-nosed play is what's kept them in the game. He feeds the puck to the left wing. It goes over to the right wing. Afinosenkov unable to get his shot on goal. Oland puts the puck out center. And now Vancouver with it across the line. And he shoots. Happy Bullen stops the shot and he doesn't want to let go of that one goal lead. Over to He scores! Off the right post and in. It just hit the inside of the pipe. Glove and in. He reached out to make the catch, but it just didn't happen. And the puck sneaks in. Well, he thought he had that one. You can see it in his eyes just before they became huge with the realization he didn't actually make the catch. And the result? A goal. They're ready now for the puck drop. The Lightning extended their lead to two goals with that last score, and it's third period hockey. You never like to be playing catch-up, and especially when you're in the third period. We're going to have to see a big turnaround in these two teams' game if the lead is going to change before regulation's over. Center ice. In deep with the puck. Listen to these fans. They're cheering their team on. It's not like two is enough. They want to make sure these guys stay sharp. Harry, they want that one more to put it away. The Lightning have had a great night shooting tonight. And now we get a look at the graphic, and you can see how successful they've been from these spots. These guys have done a great job out there at the right defenseman spot. The goalie's watching anybody getting set up at that point. The Lightning have the puck, leading by two at home. Now Tampa Bay into the zone. San Luis hits the puck into the corner. The puck is centered. Oh, and here come the Canucks. 
He carries it over the blue line. Heavy Bullen stops the shot, maintaining that two-goal advantage. The Canucks look like they're pulling the goalie for the extra attacker. Jovanovski gets pinned against the boards. Malik passes the puck to the center. Two minutes left in the period. He shoots. Abby Bullen able to get a stick out and poke check it away. It's controlled by Naslin. He passes it to the right wing. And it goes in. He passes to the defenseman. Number 26. That'll do it. The game has ended and the score, 5 to 2. The third stop of the game. Number 26. Martin San Luis. The second stop of the game. Number 4. Vincent LaCavalier. Send a message here tonight, Harry. This was a game they were going to win no matter what. During the game, you could kind of sense the control they were exhibiting and how the match finished. Not much competition out there tonight, Harry. How'd they add this one up in your mind? Well, Bob, sometimes you can back your team into a corner if you're constantly taking penalties. This team didn't do that tonight. They were reasonably disciplined, and as a result, the offense was able to do what it does best. And as a result, a huge win for them tonight.